Ambassador Susan Rice, permanent representative of the United States of America to the United Nations, Madam Irina Bokova, Director General of UNESCO, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the United Nations for the first ever celebration of International Jazz Day. I thank UNESCO, the United States Mission, and the Theolonius Monk Institute of Jazz for making this remarkable event possible. A special word of appreciation to Herbie Hancock, a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador, for his role in getting this day off to such a great start. Many wonderful jazz musicians have played at the United Nations over the years. After all, the UN flag is kind of blue. What an incredible lineup of performance tonight. The United Nations is honored to have you here. I think I speak for everyone when I say I'm in the mood to sing, sing, sing. I thank the musicians for being so generous with their talent and time. Jazz is an American invention that has become part of the world's global artistic and cultural heritage. Jazz knows no boundaries. It takes us around the world from April in Paris to autumn in New York, and from a night in Tunisia to Ipanema and Borderland. Jazz brings peoples and nations together. On International Jazz Day, we want the powerful message of jazz to resonate around the world. To all of you who took the A train to be here tonight, thank you for coming and enjoy the show.